Hello, sister. How's the Filipino? And this is a gathering at the Latter Day Saint Church afterwards, where people are very sociable and friendly. It's been a pretty good day today because the state president got to got to preach and gave uh, a lot of wisdom, very uplifting. Though sadly he will be released and he will, will be replaced, but I got to speak to him and he, it was a really good conversation. Gave a lot of hope and felt the spirit. So it seems like the Lord is still giving me a lot of light, uh, knowledge, wisdom, understandings about the future in dealing with accepting grace and the priesthood. Because I told the president, he, well he said to me, how are you going to become worthy um, to live up all the covenants and standards? And I said, it's not going to be me. I don't take any credit. It will be Christ's righteousness, denying my own righteousness. And he, he couldn't argue with me. If that works, and that's biblical, grace first, works, priesthood, ordinances, rituals, all can come later. <laughs> Sister Filipino, yeah. how long have you been in the gospel? <laughs> in the gospel? Yeah? No, since birth. Oh, you were born into it. And how long have you been in Australia? We arrived yesterday. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Are you returning to the Philippines? Where no, you staying? No, we're staying here. Welcome. Your husband? Who's your husband? Uh, he's there. Who, which one? This gentleman there? Yeah. Oh, welcome to Australia. Thank you. Brother. Uh, I'm Brother Kirk. Kirk. Uh, I, I'm a teacher and I've, I've lived in the Philippines, Thailand, India for two years. I teach in third world countries. I'm going back. I just got back from Bangkok, Thailand. I visit the temple construction. Went to the state centre, beautiful people, beautiful. Um, are you going to, you've been sealed to your husband yet? Temple, you've been sealed? Wow, that's, that's the greatest goal, isn't it? Hey? Oh, God bless you, happy Sabbath. Cindy. Cindy. Cindy, sir. Say, God bless you. Thank you, sir. Filipino culture and food, very good. Yes, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sister missionaries, have you got something to say to my YouTube channel about missionary work? Do you want to just say something that would outreach to the world? Because I've got a lot of followers. Here's your chance. I can put words in your mouth if you like. It's not how much you know, it's how much you care. The pure in heart is which you seek out. Like you said in your testimony today, knock on, which I did, as a missionary, 999 doors, and the thousandth door, someone will accept you in. It was worth going the extra mile. And you missionaries going the extra mile help you reach out and meet people that are ready to embrace the fullness of the gospel. Love you, you both. So God bless and thank you for the mission work. A brother is a probably investigator. So this, there you go. The missionaries will look after you. These are the ones that spend more time and make sure you're welcome. Right? If I was a bishop, I'd make sure this gentleman is welcome. <laughs> I always looking out for some people that are coming in off the street, you know? And we should care about what, who's here and who's leaving and whatever. But uh, welcome, brother. Hope to see you again, all right?
one step at a time. Yep. All right. All right. Nathan, for my YouTube channel, would you like to give you a little, just a little testimony about 30 seconds or something, or a minute? No, I got no, no, you're nothing to say. <laughs> anyway, I know about this gentleman. I know he's got a, a heart of gold, and uh, I'll talk more about it on the description of my mate Nathan from the Gospel. There he goes. Good looking bloke. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Brother Bernard, it's always good to see you. You, want, too, you. you want to say a 30 second testimony for my YouTube channel? Or, or anything about the gospel? Anything historic? He knew yeah. my grandmother. Hey? You were a man. Yeah. He, he, this man has a great heart of gold. His father was a bishop. My grandmother loved Bishop Bennett. And he was the most kind and generous bishop we ever knew. And this is his son who also was a bishop. Yeah. And uh, I tell you what, when you meet people like the Bennetts and others, you come to know the real gospel in action. Because right. it's not how much you know, it's how much you care. That's Brother right. Bennett, thank you for your great example over the years and how you were wonderful to my grandmother who loved you like a son. Thanks, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah, this is a church from, certainly is for couples. Very romantic, be it true or not, but uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with dreaming. It's not really biblical, but still, uh, this is where they prepare the sacrament, food, and activities and things. The, all the classrooms and everything. See, the, the Church of the Latter-day Saints is actually paid for before it's built. Pretty amazing. I better finish this video shortly. Run out of data. <laughs> it's like a primary class. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, Brother Stanley. My YouTube channel, I'll reach out and tell him you're one of the best state prisoners there ever was. Most pure in heart. I, lo I love you, brother. God bless you. <laughs> Who's going to be next? I pray it'll be a man as, as beautiful as you. There's <laughs> <laughs> a, bishop, a bishop's office. <laughs> hey, young brother. Yeah. Sisters. It's all right. Just. Uh, my viewers, they love the church to know about ins and outs. <laughs> anyway, time's up. <laughs> hey, brother. God bless you. Happy Sabbath. You too. <laughs> All right, I better finish up. Great lesson today, brother. You put a lot of work into it. The Lord's Spirit is with you. Thank you, brother. God bless you. I had COVID, ended up in hospital with organ failure. I got through it because I'm younger. 